everybody, it's Jill with Angel Creations. Welcome back to my craft room. I'm having a little trouble with my phone recording today. So hopefully we'll get through this okay. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. And because my phone is acting up, I'm going to get right on into it. So... Um, some of my things are repeat buys. Sorry, I'm a little preoccupied with making sure my video is going to keep rolling. Okay, so I went to two stores today. Went to an out-of-town store today. What is going on with the Dollar Tree lately? There's nothing new. Um, I mean, there is some things new, but it's not anything I want, so I'm not buying it, but... Um, Mostly it's like kids summer toys and flip-flops and 4th of July or Memorial Day stuff and um, So anyways, I found a few things some are repeat buys and some are new So we're gonna just hop right on into it. All right the other day if you were watching my haul I hauled these cute little greenery um, They're just calling them greenery pots, but they're just a little cute um, greenery really they're really chintzy but um, look see how chintzy they are they're like in a pool noodle or styrofoam or whatever but I picked up three the other day and after I got home I wished I had picked up more I really picked them up to do crafts with see I'm gonna pull these little greens out like if I want to put something in a wreath um, these will be ideal so I picked up these originally to use the little greenery that comes with them in crafts right but it's still cute I mean yeah, so it came in this one which I don't know what this resembles okay I don't really know this one looks kind of like boxwood um, to me but they are cute I mean they are chintzy but in the right little you know zhuzh them up a little bit and in the right a little tiered tray or the right place these would be really they could be really cute so I picked up the one in this the other day I picked these all up too one in this whatever this design is one in this which kind of reminds me of a boxwood and then one in this which uh, is more fern like but I picked it up I wish this was out at Easter it would have been great for carrot carrot stems you know but um I mean they're not the best but they are pretty cute for a dollar and um so that's why I'm picking so I picked up a set the other day and then when I was back today um I picked up another set because I just think they're really cute to have they're cute for a little tiered tray and also I picked up some of these I already opened them I thought I was going to use them already this afternoon but I picked up these um little pots from the Dollar Tree you get three of them in a little net bag and I mean how cute even just sticking that in there um, you know there's really and if you put a bunch of them together you know I mean I got what do I got there four four together there um, but if you even just put the three designs in a little bucket it's cute Anyways, I thought those were cute. Now, I wanted to bring to your attention, though, that Dollar General has something very similar to these. And I have one because I had it on my tier tray, and I want to show you what their version looks like. And I don't remember. I think I might have paid $2 for this. Um... So, theirs is wrapped in material. It's also tied off with jute. And theirs, you get a couple of different greeneries. Um, but it's pretty basic. It's the same. It's, it's actually stuck into another kind of styrofoam here. So, um, very, very similar to what the Dollar Tree is putting out here's the dollar general it's a little bigger but pretty close 
So I think if you take this from the Dollar Tree and you juice it up like this one from the Dollar General that I already just have this in my house on my two-tiered tray. I think these are amazing for a dollar or so. If you see some, pick them up at your Dollar Tree. Just little fun little things to, excuse me, have handy, you know, for crafts or what have you. And these too, I picked these up because I was going to put some succulents in these, but um, my this isn't going to work for me, but these are cute, and they have a little um, raised embossed design on them, too, which would be really cute if you whitewash these, and they could really look terracotta. I mean, they're terracotta color, but they're plastic, but I was going to zhuzh them up with a little white dry paint brush and make it look more rustic and more terracotta looking okay now let's just say I picked this I don't normally use a pill organizer my hair is getting so long and it's driving me crazy okay but I'm growing it out so I got to deal with it I got a pill organizer for the week I'm going away um, on vacation. I don't usually use these, but I figured that would be really pretty simple just to put my meds in there um, and just bring this one flat thing instead of a whole bunch of bottles of medication. So picked up that. And then I picked up these. Now I use the... Um, Venus shavers, lady shavers, and um, these look so similar to me that I picked them up to try it. They're women's superior disposable razors. They have a pivoting head and the lubricating strip, but you get two in a package, and they have six blades. Yes, you heard me right. Six blades. So... <laughs> Oh, excuse me, six blades and the the uh, lubricating strips. The only thing different to me about these is they don't have the big Venus um, handle here at the bottom. But if you can see the side view, they look just like Venus. So I picked those up. There's two for a dollar. They have six blades. That's a lot. So I thought I would give these a try. Uh, I'll let you know what I think of them, but I thought I would pack one of these in my travel bag because, hey, why not? So I picked up those. I think those will be just like Venus. That's what I'm hoping anyway. All right. Then I picked up a couple of new towels. Um, now, these are not microfiber. I don't like the microfiber feel. I don't like the feel of them. They dry okay, but I don't like the, f I mean, I don't, I don't even know if they dry okay, but I just don't like the feel of them. But these are 100% cotton towels. And I picked up two, and there's two different ones I'm going to show you, and I picked up two of each. And the first one is, wake up and smell the coffee. And I needed some new kitchen towels, so, um, I picked up those, so I've got two of the Wake Up and Smell the Coffee, and these are the 100%, let me show you here, 100%, can you read it, 100% cotton. So um, once these get washed up, these will be nice towels. So I picked up two in the Wake Up and Smell the Coffee, and then I picked two up in the When Life Gives You Lemons, Make Lemonade. And here is the other one of those. Lemons are coming out this summer. Um, so I picked up a couple of those. Again, 100% cotton. Those will be nice drying. I have a birthday, when I go away, um, I'm bringing a birthday gift how do I, anyway, I'm going to have a birthday gift with me on vacation, and I needed a bag, um, and this is the bag that I picked up to 
um, pack that little birthday gift in and so I picked that up at the Dollar Tree and then I think I already showed you those and then I picked up I was so happy to find this I've seen other people hauling it and I hadn't seen it um, I think there might be more than this scent but I picked up the shampoo bar and this one is in the Berry Bliss and this is by Body and Earth and this is what it looks like and I'm gonna open that but I want to show you it comes in a travel tin you can see um, but we're gonna open it because I want to smell this and see what this is all about I don't know let me know in the comments below if you have been able to find any of these oh I can smell it already oh my god oh my god that smells so good all right, so this is what this is. It looks like a big, um, <laughs> it looks like one of those things you drop in your toilet, you know, except for it's pink, but it smells so good. Okay, so mine was Berry Bliss, and it smells delicious. And this is the tin that you get with it. So you just, after you open it up, and you wash your hair with it, um, I guess you just put it back in the tin and let's see does this this is a screw on cover too and there you have it you get your shampoo right there I wish they had one in a conditioner too um, I'll have to keep my eye out and see if they I think I saw a different scent uh, not at my stores it does smell really good though I don't know how I feel about smelling like food though. <laughs> but anyways, I did pick that up to show you. Whoops. And there it is. That is the tin. It's pretty cool to have. I'll bring that on vacation and see what that's all about. And last but not least, I picked up two, four. I meant to pick up two of each, but I only picked up one. So I got five new organizing baskets. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is this size. Here we go. Here's the size. Let me see if I can... Oh, I don't have a ruler handy. I'm sorry, I don't have a ruler handy. And I don't have my glasses on either. Let's see if we can see... They don't usually put sizes, so they didn't. Okay, so this is a square basket. I'm so sorry I don't have a ruler handy. Now, they came out with these earlier in the year in black and white. Um, they were reversible, so like one had a black, black trim with white basket weaving, and then the other one was black basket weaving with white did I say that they were reversed you could get two different kinds today they had them in the peach and gray and so I picked up two of this fun size I thought those are great I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna use them for I picked up two in this fun size and these are really sturdy can I just say they're they're hard um, they're not caving in. I think it is has to do with this heavy duty rim. It's a really heavy rim and so it makes them tougher. Really nice and strong. So I picked up two in this size and one I meant to get two. I thought there was two there in this size. And I'm gonna use these in my refrigerator. So I don't know if you know, I had to get a new refrigerator recently and I'm not in love with it. it. You know, you spend so much money on a refrigerator and I'm not, I love my old refrigerator. That was, I loved my old refrigerator. I didn't know you could love a refrigerator so much until now I don't have that refrigerator. <laughs> but anyway, my new refrigerator doesn't have as many, like my old refrigerator had the drop shelves and the slide outs and all the movable parts and 
but my new refrigerator doesn't. So I'm going to be using these. I thought this would be great for like deli meats and cheese packages, you know, sliced cheese, deli meats. I can pull this in and out and see everything right there. And then I thought this would be um, really good to keep our... Um, um, oh, I just went blank. My mind just went blank. But, um, like bags of salads, um, anything, you know, um, condiments, just, I can't think of what I was, okay, so when I have in my garden vegetable drawer, my refrigerator, it's very small, and I have big bags of lettuce and salad, right, and then I like, um, pecans on my salad, so I keep those in my refrigerator with the salad, um, because the ants love those, and I've learned a couple of times to just keep those in the refrigerator, or I open it, and it's full of ants, um, and then, uh, like sour cream, I use the daisy sour cream and a squirt thing. Things like that I'm going to keep in here so that they're handy and we can just pull them in and out and see what we have. And then I'm going to do something with the same thing with these. I'm going to sneeze. Oh my gosh, excuse me. So I picked up these, all of these for my refrigerator, believe it or not. And maybe I'll even, once I organize my refrigerator, maybe I'll take a nice picture of my organizational bins. Um, one of these is just going to be for my diabetic um, things. I have, right now I take uh, insulin twice a day and I'm on Trulicity once a week. And so I'm going to keep all my insulin in one, and I'm going to just have fun organizing my refrigerator. And I thought these were pretty, and they also came in the gray. I don't know if they come in any other colors, though, but I've seen this in the peach and the gray. And so that, oh, one more thing I have. Um, this little thing here, what do they call it, a display easel? But I'll tell you what I'm going to use it for. I wish you could see over okay so I have a Cricut machine a Cricut maker and when I open the top of it I have a small one of these which is about half the size hanging over it okay let's pretend let me see let's make this a Cricut okay open my door and this is my door of my Cricut I have a smaller one of these hanging over it like that, and I put my keyboard, my, um, you know, my computer keyboard, because it's wireless, and I just like to keep my keyboard, and I can type and have my desk space clean, right? Does that make sense to you? Pretend this is a keyboard. This is my keyboard, and this is my Cricut, and I'm going to put... But anyways, the reason I got this one is because the one that's half the size, my keyboard falls out of all the time. It goes one way or the other. And this one is wider, so that's what I'm doing with that. I'm going to just... I hook this onto the top of my Cricut. And then I just stick my keyboard like that. I thought I'd just let you know and share with you what I'm going to do with this. So I picked up that. And that is it for my Dollar Tree haul. I believe. I don't see anything else here. So I believe that is it for the Dollar Tree haul. So how about if you put a little potted plant or the word plant in the um, comments below. Um, now, some of you, I don't know if you mean to, but you might say, like, I liked, I liked those plants in a sentence. I put you down in the giveaway. If you say the word plant, even if you just write the word plant and you don't say anything else to me, I put you in the in the drawing for the for the giveaway when we reach 300 subscribers. 
So, but um, some of you are clever and do that, and I didn't know if you meant it or not, but I have been putting you into the giveaway if you put the word in, Any, anyhow, no matter how you put the word in. So, all right, well, so I think you should go look for some of these cutie patooties at your Dollar Tree. Um, I think that there's a lot we can do with these, and, um, and I'd love to see some pictures. Show me pictures of what you made. I have a subscriber that made the um, paper. Did you see when I made the paper flowers with the Cricut and the canning jar? I'll have to put up a link for that. And um, I had a sus subscriber make one and it came out beautiful. I'll have to put a picture of that in below too. Um, or I might just do a video of a whole bunch of things, uh, still pictures, because I have a couple of people who have done um, some of my projects and sent me pictures. So I would like to put up a, a, a bunch of those, right? So, okay, so go to your Dollar Tree. If you like anything you saw here, go to your Dollar Tree. It's out at the Dollar Tree now. And... <clears throat> If you um, would be inclined to share this with people and a thumbs up would be great. And let me know in the comments what you think of these cute little uh, plants and if you have found any of them. And until the next time I see you or video, um, be well. Bye now.